So I thought I'd give you a tour of my Astro rigs today. Okay, so every picture you've ever seen me capture was done right here from my backyard, despite my severe light pollution. I'm 20 minutes from downtown Detroit in that direction. I have Detroit Metro Airport about 20 minutes in that direction. Hi, Kane. He, he's not going to stop making noise today. And these are the four rigs I actually use. And I've used all four of them um, this year already. And there's really not much redundancy going on. They all serve their own purpose. I thought I'd give you a tour of each one. Okay, so this is my biggest setup. Um, I consider this one the perfect year-round rig because um, so many nebulas fit perfect inside the field of view. Um, it's still powerful enough to get in close and see detail on galaxies and galaxy seasons. Um, whatever you need to do, this is the scope that can do it. And um, uh, what I've got here is my, my CGX mount is the biggest mount I have. It can support 55 pounds of payload. Um, I don't think I'm close to that yet. And then I've got here my ASI 1600mm Pro camera. Actually, this is not the Pro. This is one of the older models. I've got a filter wheel. I have an electronic focuser. And what I notice with this setup is most of the time I think I can go at least one or two hours before I start to lose focus. So I think it's a safe bet. Um, to set my autofocus um, to, to refocus every hour and, and then I don't have to worry and um, Here's my Explorer scientific uh, Refractor it's a triplet. I've got a Orion guide scope on here. It's an ST80. I don't think they make these anymore. I've got a Lone Star X2 uh, guide camera and of course I've got uh, uh, dew heater box and uh, dew heater strips and this is definitely a uh, an excellent setup. I've been using it for a while now. It's got me a couple A-pods, uh, NASA astronomy pictures of the day, so um, I, I think I'll always um, have this setup um, in place. I'm, I'm never going to take it apart. So uh, let me show you the next one. Okay, my next setup here is the Celestron Rasa. And this thing was a lifesaver over the winter time when the clear skies were few and you need to be able to image fast. Um, this thing really saved the day because it uh, it's many times faster than my other scope at, at bringing in the brightness of a nebula. And that really came in handy over the winter time. And it became my, it definitely became my primary rig. Um, and uh, um, one thing that's interesting that, that surprised me about the scope is um, I have an electronic focuser for it, but I never installed it because... Every picture you've ever seen me capture with this, I never had to fix the focus. I, I adjust the focus at the start of a session or if I switch filters, but other than that, never lost focus on me. It, it's astonishing how, how, how good the, the how strong the, the focus holds. And what I've got here is my EQ 6R Pro mount. It's a Skywatcher and the, the Rasa is an eight inch. I've got a ZWO guide scope, and I've got an ASI 224MC planetary camera as a guide camera. It, it works just fine as a doing double duty as a guide camera. Uh, do heater strip, and that's my ASI 1600 Pro camera and a pole master on the front. Um, I have a do shield. I, I don't have it on right now, um, but. Uh, yeah, it definitely uh, was a lifesaver over the winter. And uh, I don't know what it is about the scope, but there's a fun factor involved here. It's just a lot of fun to use. Maybe because it's uh, my newest scope. I'm, I'm still really enjoying this one. So, uh, okay. Okay, next. This is my solar setup. I use this during the day to image the sun. And what I've got going on here is uh, this is actually two in one. I can either image the sun up close um, with my Explorer Scientific AR-102 and Daystar Quark, or I can, uh, this is not a guide scope, it's another solar scope, or I can use this one if I want the full disk of the sun. So it's a, it's a really cool setup. And what I've got going on here is my um, uh, Celestron AVX mount. 
Okay, so this little guy, well, at least it, it seems little compared to my other scopes. Um, this is the first setup I ever bought. It's my Celestron Nexstar 8 SE. And uh, that was quite a few years ago, but uh, I actually still use it to this day. It's, it's great for capturing the craters on the moon or capturing the planets. I just captured Venus with it recently, so I, I still get my use out of this thing. And uh, it's an Alt-As mount, and uh, this is an 8-inch tube, and people laugh at my electrical tape that I've got holding on my Telerad. It's a red dot finder, and uh, it, it, it works pretty well. Anyway, that's uh, the last scope I've got going on here, and I intend to use all four of these throughout the year. So, uh, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you later. Hello, folks. So, I, yeah. I consider this the perfect year-round rig because um, it, it's the perfect shape. Kane is making a lot of noise right now. So look who's sitting over there just looking at me. Hi Kane. I know. You're in the mood for a visit. You put on a good show for everybody. Last time in my comment video. What a good boy. Oh no, don't bite. Don't do that again. I know, I'm just gonna pet you. Let me pet you, no, 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 don't bite my shirt. Be good. You're not in the mood for being good today, are you? Oh, come on, you're a good boy, come on now. Oh, you got other things on your mind, okay, I'll see you later. <laughs>